Hey guys, this is the Bracelet Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rainbow loom hair bow. So, it's going to look like this. So you're going to be attaching an elastic onto it. Now, what's cool about this is it won't get stuck in your hair because you just have to tie it around and it will just stick onto the hairband, not your hair. So now that's what it would look like. And these are really cool because they can attach onto basically anything you would like. Like I have one right here and I just attached this onto a fishtail. So you can decide if you want to attach it onto maybe in a hairband, a fishtail bracelet, maybe a necklace, anything of your choice. But for this, you will need just one loom, scissors, your rainbow limb hook or crochet hook, and some rubber bands. Grab your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. Start with your loom's arrows facing away from you. And if you want it to have all different colors, you're going to have three colors. And if you want it to have the same color, you're going to use the same color. Um, but I wouldn't suggest using the same color at first because they can get confusing and you'll see why. So I'm going to be using different colors to show you. I'm going to be using blue. I'll be using, let's see, yellow. And we'll just use some white. Okay, so I have blue, yellow, and white. So you're going to start like this, and most of our placements on our loom are going to be double banded. So you're going to start with your first color, double band it, go to the left, double band, up, double band, up. Double band up. So one, two, three, four. And now we're going to go in with the single band. Take another single band and go right there. Like that. Now we're going to go four up. Again, double banded. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to take our next color, mine's yellow, and double band straight up. Okay, then on the third band, take a single and wrap it around two times. Okay. And we're just going to go up with the single and up again with the single. Like that. And then take doubles and you're just going to go three up. So you're going to stop right there. Okay, so we have this. Now for our last color. So double band. There, I'm just going to go like this so you guys can see a bit better. There we go. Double band again. Double band. Double band. And then from here, single band in. Single band out. Sorry if my hand's in the way. And double band straight up four times to line up with the blue. Okay, so now it should look like this with the white lined up with the blue and the yellow behind. And I forgot to mention, but you will be needing a color for the back. So like right here, you can't really see it, but it's the white. And on this one, it's the white also. 
But since I have white in this already, I'm going to be using black. So I prefer using lighter black. That's just me. But, so this is the beginning. And you're going to skip this. And you're just going to place them like that. So you're going to skip the first part. But place them on triangles until the end. So as you can see, I covered every single part except for this part. And then right here, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and just move it up right there. Now we're going to start hooking. But just before we do that, we're going to take a color of each side, so white and blue, and turn our loom like this. And we're just going to be doing capping bands several times. So to do this, just make an infinity. It's like making an, a capping band on a peg. So just make several infinity signs and place it on. Then go to this side, take your blue, make several infinity signs, place it on the peg. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but hopefully you know how to do this. And now we can start hooking officially. So we're going to grab our hook. Okay, so now we're going to move back the capping man. It might be hard because you wrapped it so many times, but you're just going to grab the two bottom bands and hook it forward. Grab the bottom, hook it forward. Grab the bottom, hook it forward. Grab the bottom, hook it forward. Then from here, grab the single white, bring it over here, oops, like that. Then go in, find the white, and this is basically the only tricky part. and bring it over here. Then grab the two bottoms, bring it forward, grab the two bottoms, bring it forward, grab the two bottoms, bring it forward. And just leave it like that. Go back to the beginning, and just for the yellow, you're just gonna hook forward, but you're gonna stop at this white triangle. So I'll show you the first two. So just pull up, grab the bottom, bring it to the top. So you should have done three loops, then bring this single, go down, grab the yellow, bring it forward, and then you can hook it to the end. But before you do that, just a thing about this one is there is a capping band right there, so just make sure you move that back, grab the bottom two, and then hook it forward. But hook them until the end. Okay, so now that it's like that, you're going to leave it like that. Go back to the beginning. Move back the cap band. Grab the bottom two bands. And make sure you have two. And hook it forward. Sorry if you can't see this. Move back. And hook forward. Once again, stop until you get to the triangle. Okay, so we have this. I always like to show you guys this because it can get a bit tricky. Not really, but, you know, for some people. So just bring that, then grab the last one, the blue, and again, hook till the end. Now that we're done, it should look like this, and we're almost, almost done. So go to the white, grab the two whites, and bring it on top of the yellow, push that down, grab the blue, and bring that on top of the yellow. And now you're going to take your middle color, so you're going to take a yellow band if you're following my color combo, and you're going to put your hook underneath all of these. Now I just slid up mine out because you have to make sure you have them under all of the bands. So make sure every single band is on there. Then 
pull it through and put it to the thickest part. Now we're going to make a slip knot. So grab this part, bring it over that one, and pull up. Okay, now we're just going to put our hook underneath all the bands again and just lift up. Now we're just going to pull it off with our fingers basically. So just go to each peg and just pull it off with your fingers. Okay, so now it should look like this. And now we need to add whatever you're adding it to. So, like this. But you actually don't need this, so you're just going to take your scissors now. And make sure you don't cut it, like, on the knot. But you want to cut it pretty short so you don't see it. So just about right there, I think, is good. That way it's not noticeable. And if you really want to, you can take a C-clip and just attach it like that. Like this one is. Or you can just leave it like this one. It's totally up to you. But you're going to take three more bands. So you can see right here, it's blue. That's going to go on. Um, I'm going to do just three blacks. So take three blacks and go right there. Then I'll take a C-clip and put it on those bands. Slide it on and kind of push it to the side. Then you're going to take your bow and try to just push it through the pins like that. So just put it through the pin. Now I'm making mine a hair bow, so I'm taking a hair band. And this is inspired by Cheer Essential Suns. Um, so this is their bow. And... So I'm just going to be making a hair bow for one of the cheerleaders there. But you're just going to put it on like that. And just make sure it's on the peg where the bands are. Just put it on. You can even put it on like this. And just hold it there. Then take this, those three black and bring it on over itself, like that. So it's like this, and you're just going to move the hairband away and take the C-clip and attach it onto the ones that you just pulled over. So the C-clip should be on every single band. And then you're just going to pull it off. And there you have your bow. So if you don't like it the way this is, just attach a secret like that. But there you have your Rainbow Loom hair bow. Thanks for watching.